Hi there, I'm Sarah Henson. I'm an email copywriter and strategist, and I'm also a self-confessed tech geek. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate MailChimp with Squarespace. So if you want to get um, someone on your newsletter or send them a lead magnet, a checklist, or even a discount code for your products, this is how you do it. Now, before I start, I just want to um, start off to say that I particularly don't like MailChimp. It's not very logical in the way it works. And I would highly recommend using something like MailerLite if you want to start off with a free account. Or if you want to start as you mean to go on, um, ConvertKit is the, the best one to start with, in my opinion. However, if you do want to continue using MailChimp in Squarespace, because it does have a direct integration, um, I'm going to show you how to do that here. So what we first need to do is start off by creating an audience. It's what is known um, it, what most people know as a list, basically. They've called it audience for some reason. Um, so we're going to create an audience. You can create one audience in your free MailChimp account. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call it newsletter because what I'm going to do is say your subscriber to receive a discount code, but that would mean that they get on the newsletter as well. So we just have to fill in all these details so that it's set up properly. You have to put in here how people signed up so that they they know that it's not uh you know spam or if they click it and wonder where you came from um if they've not opened many of your emails and want to know where that's from you just have to remind them um you signed up for a discount code for my products Okay, this will pull in your information from your account just to let you know this is a fake address. This is not where I live. Um, obviously, you need to put your correct email, your, your correct business address in there. Now here, this is where we have um, the settings for double opt-in or not. If you want to um, use a double opt-in, if you don't know what a double opt-in is, I have a blog post about that. So go ahead and look on my website, sarahhenson.co.uk. I'll link it down below to talk about the benefits of using a double opt-in. For now, I'm not going to actually use it. Um, you can click this enable GDPR fields. It's to make yourself compliant. Again, there's more information on my website about using GDPR in email. Um, with the, how we're actually integrating it with Squarespace forms, um, this won't actually come up, I don't believe, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, if you want to get notified of new subscribers, you can click one of these and then we'll go save. And then we have an audience created. There we go, we have an audience. Now what we now need to do is set up an automation so that when people sign up, they get an email saying, welcome, here's your discount code, or here's your checklist, or lead magnet, or whatever it is you're sending them. Okay, so we're going to go to customer journey. I'm going to create, I'm going to use the classic automations. And we're going to welcome new subscribers. It's going to be a single welcome email. And this is select an audience, we've only got one, it's the newsletter. So we'll begin. So these are all the triggers, basically. It sends to the person when they subscribe or immediately join the newsletter audience or list. And then you'll see, thanks for joining us. Here's your 20% off code. Yeah, obviously, preview text is in your email. You'll um, see the subject line and you'll see a little bit of text that's previewing. Um, it's a good way to kind of entice people to open. Um, we'll leave that at that. I mean, you can put something curious, curiosity provoking in there if you want. We'll save that. And content, we're going to just edit this. I'm going to just use a very plain text to... Um, send to my new subscriber. Okay, so I'm going to just delete all those out. I'm going to just use a plain text. Uh, so that's, we want to go into the body bit there. 
Okay, so thanks for signing up to hear more from delightful dishes. Let's say I'm a, a cookery school or something like that. I uh, create energy bars, let's say that. Okay, delightful dishes. Here's your discounts code. Um, 20 off delight. Let's put that. And you might want to, if, if you have a, if it is for a discount code, you might want to add a button in here um, so that you can go direct to your shop. Uh, if you're, let's say you are um, delivering a lead magnet, like a PDF guide, you might also add this guide on how to get the best from your like or bars okay and then what you can do like this guide you can put a link in there and if you've got a link to um, a download I often use my downloads in my Google Drive I add it to my Google Drive and get a share link and Add it in there. So let's just put this in here for now. Okay. Okay, save and close. So you can add in a button here. Shop now. Let's just do that again. And of course, you would style it to whatever your um, colors are, your brand colors, okay? Um, okay, so that's good. Save and continue. And that's your welcome message set up. And what we wanna do is press start sending so that it's switched on. It says rock on, we've done it. Okay, so now we need to add the form into Squarespace that connects to MailChimp. So I'm just going to use uh, navigate to my back end of my Squarespace website. Um, I'm going to go to pages and then I'm going to start adding a new page. I'm going to use this folder with a, a test page because I keep things organized. Um, let's call it the like full. Dishes sign up. Let's edit this page and we'll just go with a blank. And we're going to use the teardrop and add a form. So, wherever on your page you want to add your form in, that's where you just add in that teardrop. So, if it's in the footer of your website or anything like that, that's where you do it. Okay, so the form name, I'm going to show you how to do a light box as well, which is where it pops up from a button. So let's call the form um, uh, sign up to get 20% off delightful energy bars. And for our news, something like that. Okay, so now what we need to do um, is decide what details we're going to capture. This is a form where people send in messages. So we don't need a subject matter and we don't need a message. We just need their name, the first name and email address. So that gives the first name and last name. What you can do if you just want first name, what you can do is add a text box and add first name. 
and use that instead of the name box. Sorry, let's put that at the top and let's delete that. So that way you'll see you just have the first name box there. We go to storage and we want to go and use MailChimp. So what will happen is it should bring up a box to allow you to connect with MailChimp. Okay, so we just sign into MailChimp. And it's basically saying, are you authorizing Squarespace to talk with MailChimp? You say allow. And then you get the option to choose which audience it's going to, which it says select list, which is, means the audience. So we're choosing newsletter. And we're right now, we're not going to do the, the double opt-in. Um, and then you press, press apply. And then save. So that's your form. All done. So when, as soon as anyone puts their name and email address in there, it gets sent to MailChimp and then that triggers the automation that we set up. Let me just show you how to make this into a, um, a light box. It's very simple. All you need to do is go to advance, enable light box, and it turns it into a button. Um, and then what we can do is the but this the submit button is actually when the form opens. So um, yes, and me my code. And we'll put it as center. And to change that button there, it's at the bottom here. So get. Your discounts here. And you see that changes that for that. And then, of course, if you, um, this is the message that comes up after the submission. Uh, at the moment, it says thank you. You can put go check your inbox for your 20% off code. And if you would rather it go through to a thank you page with something else on it, you can actually add in the URL for the page that you want them to go to once they've submitted their email address. But we're going to just leave it at that. OK, so let me just show you what that looks like. So you get your discount here, you click on the button. This is why we had to put the CTA stuff for the um, CTA copy, call to action copy in the form name because that's what comes up on here and then you just that's where people put in their name and email address send me my code and of course when you're um you know creating putting this on your page you want to put some text in to to hear news and offers on all delightful dishes add your details below and get 20% off your first purchase there we go we just make it look pretty good center put it like that and then people just click the button and that's how you integrate MailChimp with Squarespace and I'm just going to reiterate that um, MailChimp isn't the easiest uh, and logical uh, email service provider so if you're happy doing this go go with what I've shown you at least you'll get um, people on your email list but I would highly recommend looking at MailerLite if you want something free to start with or ConvertKit which is my favorite at the moment which is what I use so have fun. If you have any questions, then please do email me at hello at sarahhenson.co.uk. And if you want to keep updated on all my tips, tricks and hacks that I share on this channel and on my blog so that you can master your emails, your copy and your tech, then just hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.